Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Seagull Daily. Um, obviously you know what Seagull Daily is about, this, can, this gives me the chance to go on our outgoings and incomings, and I've got a bit of information on you and a couple of incomings in just a minute. But I'm going to start off with a potential player that could be leaving our club. Um, AJ we call him, Jack Rash. Um, it's been rumours that Villa Batchy wants to get him out on loan. Um, get him on loan, I should say. Uh, we want to obviously be leaving us, so they can't. Villa Batchy can't get him out on loan. Um, yeah, Villa Batchy want to get him on loan, um, and then perhaps make it a permanent signing after the loan spell has finished. Where do I go with Jack? I don't think Jack Bash has had a real chance, to be honest with y'all. Um, I really do think that. Under Chris Hewitt, I've you know I've spoke about this a lot. I think our, all our new players deserve another chance. I think Chris was too defensive at times, and we couldn't really see what was going on. Um, you know where they could potentially play their best, but that so uh, Jack Bash could go to Filibache, um on loan or possibly a permanent deal. Keep an eye out for this one. As we go further into the window, and don't forget the players do return to training next up and coming Thursday. And just to give you guys an update, uh, Shalotto and Tom Ahmed has both returned back to the training ground. Um, obviously, meetings with the club are do soon. So, you know, let's see where this one goes. Um, on to uh, one of our players we could be bringing in, Leonardo Trossard, um, obviously you all probably do know about um, that both clubs have agreed a fee, you might know or you may not know that his agent did fly over to uh, England last night or yesterday afternoon, um, he's now gone back to Belgium without a deal. Um, now, we weren't the only club interested in him. Aston Villa were, Aston Villa probably playing interest in him now. And the same as Arsenal, um, probably interested in him as well. They were their third choice, included to rumours from Arsenal. Both their first seven midfielders have dropped out. So we could have a bit lot of competition coming our way. But as it stands, we are still in favourites to get him. Um, I just hope we could agree that deal um, well, uh, sooner rather than later. Um, you know, because we have got a pro season friendlies coming up as well. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, get, uh, yeah, again, just keep an eye out and see where this one goes. Hopefully, before long, I will be doing a welcome to the club video where for tours are. So, you know, as I said, let's just see how it goes. But hopefully, I'll be doing a welcome to a club video on him soon. Had he had this business, did undo? Sorry for this, but I always probably have. You know who it is anyway. Apparently, we are interested in the 19-year-old. Um, a bit of information about him. He's got 10 goals in his uh, 34 appearances with 6 assists. Uh, he does only play the one position, which is... Uh, sent forward, so you know, uh, sort of like a Glenn Murray's position from last season, the 4 3 3. Uh, his contract uh, runs out on the 30th of June 21, so he's got literally about two years left before his current contract runs out. He has played international for Turkey under 21 and under 19, um, but he has got three goals for. T Turkey under 21. Um, he's played 1,787 minutes. So, you know, could possibly yet again be another good signing. As I said, just keep a lookout. Um, as far as Torsta goes, I've, and I've already said he'll go out one more time. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be doing a welcome to a club video on him soon. But guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.